Matt Luffy and Vision, king of the hey, rappers. What's up, gang? It's Murata Music with 3Piece TCG. Big, big TCG. And 2D, I'm here with that Marcy. Oh, and uh, 8.5 style. Okay, so smash that like button finger pop that subscribes turd slicer uh go down in the comments let me know what i'm doing right what am i doing wrong what would you be doing differently and turn on that bell um okay so the list i have before you was uh built off of the steak frank marco steak and uh, i got that from standby all right so i got it from the uh keck filet video over here there's the man steak right there and uh, he had some really, I had to make sure it's muted, dog. I don't want them talking through my whole video. Uh, anyways, had a really interesting take with the Imperial Ivankov. And, you know, bro, Frank and Furter for life for me, dog. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always going to fuck with it. Uh, however, this is an 8.0 list. We're trying to go 8.5. So get a good look at it. I know I get rid of these. I get rid of these. I go down one on these. And I do some other things in another list, but I'll show you that later. Uh, okay, so 8.5. <laughs> True to my word. Took that down. And I wanted three of this. I wanted four of that. And I think that's about the, the change. That's the big change. And uh, so the story we're telling with this deck, uh, for those of you who don't know, once... Uh, Activate main once per turn when he has one Dawn attached. You can do this from the very start of the game if you go first. Uh, you draw one card and then you place a card from your hand on the top or bottom of your deck. Then you give somebody minus 2k. Now for the longest, everybody thought that the way to play this was uh, utilizing Fire Fist, right? And you get rid of one event card and then you, uh, and then you could pop somebody that's a 5 and a 4 and he's kind of like a he's kind of like the black uh, this is this is the Lucci card this is the this is the event card that Lucci was based off of we used to call Lucci card uh Lucci fire fist the character you know what i'm saying uh what's happening though is this turns into a very high rolly deck and situation where you want to have this and then you need to have another one and then you need to be able to do this you, you got to start the more the more you need working for something, the more you need, oh, this, this, and this, and then this, yo, that's too much. I'm all for a combo deck, but we're talking about consistency. Consistency is key and in this game and in life. So write that down. Anyhow, uh, what we're opting for now and what everyone else was opting for was a more just character build with white beard character cards. And you got, uh, bro, I like this ace way more than the other ace god bless the other ace uh card is just like my least favorite illustration in all of cards that's an interesting one as well anyways uh but yeah so they were doing this cool uh steak was talking about imperial ivankov <clears throat> you get the cheat cards yeah yeah wait real top play one card return them yeah yeah so you get to play this straight up so if we were to fix our hand and put him on top, I could play him, then I could play him, he looks at the top three, you know what I'm saying, and and I did all of that for three dawn, which is crazy, and then every time he swings, if we have six or less cards, we're going to get another card, so basically playing him on curve is going to guarantee you a card, unless you take all the hits in the world from your, you know, from their second turn, which is crazy, uh, not going to happen, you know what I'm saying, anyhow, uh so yeah i know i'm bouncing around but i'm kind of like trying to talk to you about this deck as it comes to me uh the harada haruta however you want to say it uh play uh he's gonna give you constantly a marco he's gonna constantly give you one uh rested dawn so if you're on evens and you want to play out silver's Rayleigh and you have him on the field you can you good for you glen coco you go glen coco and then you can use him to uh, give you one and you can still scry and figure out what you're doing with your life. You know what I'm saying? So it's really cool. Also, if you set up your, um, you, you, you know, use Del Flamingo to set up your perfect nine uh, curb play so that you can Sanji and that uses all your Dawn. If you have him, you can still pull a card and still, you know, bottom deck or what have you. A lot of this deck comes down to the knowledge of when to bottom deck and when to place on top. 
placing on top is something that like, yo, I, this is the only big I have in my hand. I know I'm running two of them. I have not seen another big. I do have a Sanji, but I ain't got nothing else. I'm going to put them on top because I got everything else. Uh, bottom decking is, yo, I already got two of this guy. Uh, I don't need him. Let me go ahead and take from the top. I'll keep this 2K and put him at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Or knowing that I got two, but I'm not going to play it in the next turns or for the, you know what I mean? You already got your plays figured out. So it's thinking many turns ahead, which I really love uh, when a deck forces a player to do that because that's leveling you up as a player. You want to be thinking, you know, multiple turns ahead. Um, and that's like thinking ahead the deck. That's what this deck is because you're planning ahead. You're planning ahead. You're always scrying. You're planning ahead. You're pulling. This card is a lot of fun too for this deck. And I'm glad that, that it has a use. Ulti just like, I haven't met her yet in the series, but she seems like a dope chick. Um, anyhow, so I feel like I'm talking enough about that. Of course, the new additions I haven't really, uh, brushed up on are going to be your new gates. Uh, three, I got three of them because, you know, there was a thing. I wanted four of this because I want to see this card on, on curve. And again, when you want to see it on curve, uh, you want to run four, especially if it's not a 10 drop or a nine drop or something crazy, right? I can, even though this is the bread and butter of the deck, because of the nature of me being able to search ahead, search, search, you know what I mean? Constantly draw cards. Uh, I can afford to run three of this card and I'll be all right. Even though this is how you win games, which is like crazy. But yeah, you only need to play two of these cards. Max, max, you only need to play two. Uh, there's not, there probably won't be a game when anybody plays three. That's nuts. And if there is, fucking tag me in it, dog. Because that's, that's a sight to see. Um, but yeah. So uh, I figured three by the time I get to seven is cool. I know I'll, I'll probably see one and I know I'll hopefully see this. This also has counter. It's not a dead card. It's got rush because we're a white beard leader. And uh, if Lucci wants to do some kind of, you know, pop the card, it doesn't get popped. It goes down to four. So he's sticky and he requires uh, investment for any leader to swing into with, uh, of course, ex the exception being Luffy and uh, Lucci. Excuse me. Lucci, actually, there's a couple now. Yeah, Lucci, Smoker, fuck, not Lucci, Luffy, Smoker, motherfucking uh, Malak Luffy, Whitebeard, you get the vibes, but he's, he, you can't just swing at him uh, at, for five, you know what I mean? So that's cool. Um, and of course, though, if he does get popped, he goes on to four. And then this is our Jack. Okay, let me tell you guys about this. Me and Georgie were talking about this card, and this card is Red's Jack. This card is Red's Jack. Jack pops a three or less, right? Okay. What is a three? What is a three uh, vanilla? A three vanilla is a three for five. Three K for five. Do we have any three vanillas? True three vanillas without effects so that you can see it right here. True vanilla. It's got the one K counter. It costs, it, it's got, you know, whatever it, it it's power is 2k higher than its cost right three for five and what does he pop he pops a 5k power or less this is literally their jack um so yeah great card great addition and uh if you if power reduction and popping is your business this is your uh this is your what is the ma regional manager this is your regional manager he's gonna make sure shit falls in line for you dog so, uh, yeah, and without, w without further ado, we can go ahead and get into it. If you keep this motherfucker up and you play Swaley, yo, somebody's getting big city popped. Pop city running for mayor over there. Uh, everything else is just notable mentions and shit like that. You got this uh, for Black Yellow Luffy and anybody else that wants to get cute and in your way. And you got this for Black Yellow Luffy and Anybody that wants to get a big hand, again, we're giving them Burger King hands. We're taking big hands to BK hands. Tell them you need that BK Junior, dog. BK Junior, because you can't you can't take the whole Whopper anymore. <laughs> we're about to give them the Whopper. Uh, with all that being said, let's get into these matches, Jack. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, and you're gonna see me like change outfits. 
So crazy story. I thought I was done with this video, but I'm not. So yeah, you're going to get a bunch of different outfits from me. Uh, we're running through this at 1.5 speed, gang. Oh shit, this is going way too fast. All right, so this is the Steak Franks uh, build, and we're going up against uh, Boot Scoot Lucci. Now, um, okay, so always start, especially if you're forced to go first, you get to use your ability first. We like it. We love it. We want some more of it. Homeboy just trashed the world. Did you guys see that? I'm sorry. What's the point of going 1.5? If Homeboy just trashed, he, I just hit bingo on what he could trash. Ice Age, all of his bigs, we're looking good. Uh, playing this card out so we can see the top three is magnifique. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set it up like that because uh, Port Gide Ace is the one I want to get him out there with. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and grab him. Uh, we're going to put something at the b bottom of the deck and uh, Bikini Beach bottom. And we're going to swing. He takes it. And we're going to keep him moving. All right. Now we're waiting for their play. Four Dawn play. We're, they're looking for a Kuzan. They're looking for something it gets rid of another ice age getting rid of those ice ages when you're playing against me and you know i got nothing but the bigs for you man that's that's exactly what we want to see uh okay he is going to go for spandini uh i can either take or 2k it out um the me today would 2k it out so cool i'm i have not changed much in my in my time um so now we're gonna do that we're looking to fix the top five what happens is like we see so many swaleys that we definitely do not want to put those at the bottom. You know what I mean? We can't just like, ah, let's get rid of them. If it was one, you know, I don't know, because you're also looking for your um you're looking for your Sanjis. You want to be able to get that that double play value out of it. But uh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just swing seven at them. And uh we do get another life. Yeah, so that's good. So we're three to four. Uh, our, we've been getting value out of our blockers when you're going against Lucci, man, I was hoping my mic was turned on <laughs> when you're going against Lucci, you want to make sure you get the value out of your blockers because there's that dance you do where like right now he's minus me down. Okay. So like anything in his deck can, can drop and, and, and pop him, Right. But if he, if I use him now and he doesn't develop, he wants to swing twice or swing, you know, however many times, that's fine with me too, because then he doesn't develop. So uh, right here was a very questionable play. I don't know what he was doing unless he was just trying to uh, lure me into swinging at a Spandini, which I don't give a cuss about. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Rebecca. And now we're going to do our little thing. Somebody's going to Bikini Beach Bottom, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yes, and then we're going to go ahead and swing six. We get a 2K out of them and we're going to keep it moving. All right. So now um, they're at, what are they at? Is that seven Dawn? They're at eight Dawn. They're at eight Dawn. So right now, if they got a big, this is the time to play it. Uh, we're looking at their uh, trash and we're seeing that they're two geckos down two geckos down so uh they just decide to get him off the board jack and i say you know what who am i to stop you okay so now we're in an interesting position where uh we could play out a swaley or we could do an ace or what we choose to do is the dofi doferson and we're gonna do that because we wanted to set up, we've got our bigs that we want to play out, right? And now we just want to set up the next play. So that's what we're going to do here. We decided to play out Dofi. We get a blocker. We still keep five up. We can we can play him out. We can swing. Or we can play her out. <laughs> God bless. 1.5 is a little fast for me to commentate for you guys. I'm not going to lie. So we, we play out pudding. Everything they thought they were going to do, it gets mixed up. Uh, I wonder if that was the play though. The only reason why is because if I bet you are Jack, um, if what they were doing, if they swung 13 at me because they didn't have a gecko play, then perhaps they don't have a gecko and me doing the shuffling. I probably gave them one. You see what I'm saying? Now they could only have two geckos left if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, but you know what? Um, the pudding, 
it was either going to get played then or never because the next card we pull is going to be Sanji. Then we're going to go Sanji to Swaley, and then we might either go another Swaley or Port gets DA. So uh, he chooses to do that, and I can't tell you why. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this. I would take this. No. Take it. Yeah, take it. Good deal. Good me. Good me. Okay, so um, they're going to play this out. So now I imagine they have eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So that means they had him out the whole time. Nothing wrong with that. What they going to what they going to pull out? So we know they got the Rebecca, that's right. Your Spandini's here, dog. So I guess you're going to Okay, so you're going to do the Brook. They play nobody. Okay. Cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach one. You know we're putting Swaley on top. You know I'm going to uh, do the Sanji combo. The kids love it. Like it, love it, want some more of it. Uh, it just chaps my behind, though, because uh, if I didn't have to set that up uh, the way I did using Leader's ability, I could have otama the Gecko Moria and then done my ability and then done that. I could have popped the Gecko Moria, but that's fine because, uh, you know, we get rid of Brook. We swing uh, six at them, and now their gecko is, you know, cut at the waist down. And by waist down, we mean the penis. And they're done. They're done. And I don't blame them. Um, I wonder why, though. I mean, when we look at it, uh, they had some more bigs to play. They had their only other two geckos, which was cool. Uh, they had no reduction, no real reduction. And um, I think I'm going to scroll through their trash. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they had no real reduction, and we had bigs, and you know, we you you guys can see that that was gonna get popped. I wasn't gonna let that ride again, and I could have even popped their Gecko Moria as well. So I mean, we had that we had that sewed up because we were gonna swing uh, big city swings on the next turn. You know what I'm saying? And they weren't gonna be able to block out of it. You know, that's seven, eight, nine. So they couldn't have blocked out of one, and then they couldn't have blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have had that sewed up. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, so now we got an 03, excuse me, a, a, a red, purple Luffy, another 8.5 benefitter, benefactor. Uh, we set up that fucking, this guy has been amazing for us. We set up a uh, homeboy immediately, and uh, we're just going to take a 5 and 6 on Fox 26. Yo, that's crazy sauce. I would like to, uh, we do take it. Well, shit, give her that. Yeah, get out of that. That was wild. Okay, so uh, for this, I'm thinking big ulti play, big ulti energy, and uh, then just swing at the Nami. Let's see what I do. Because that ulti is going to be able to give us a, a read on the next cards that we're going to see. <laughs> I am doing it in the correct form, and that is great. I'm glad that... Um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't play the character out first, like I do when I'm talking on talking and playing. Okay, so for this, uh, yeah, we could draw that, and I would put these at the bottom. I mean, they're two Ks, so we like it, or maybe we keep them. We keep them. Bottom, bikini bottom, they go. I just realized I burp a lot in my videos, and I was like, damn, what if there's just a compilation of just me fucking ripping it, you know, letting it rip? Uh, anyhow. So, yes. So now they've got seven cards in hand. Um, we we got our next play figured out, right, gang? We're going to go ahead and do a little ace, a little asymmetrical on them. And we can also set up our next cards. Uh, damn, I would block out of that because that's a big city hit right there. There's no reason to go down to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So they got six cards. I don't, I'm not thinking about putting right here at this juncture. Um, if I swing, if I play out ace, I can swing and then swing again with Marco. Um, or I could do big, you know, two big swings with ulti and Marco. But right now, pelting them down seems good too. Uh, man, I don't think I need two new gates personally. We're going to see. What am I about to do? 
Send a card to deck bottom. Yeah, we got rid of the other 7-8 because we're going to play the 7-8 next. And then after that, it's going to be uh, Sabo time. So, and we are, no, they are, they are even, we're odds. Okay, so, yeah. Anywho, oh man, it's getting rough out here in this field for us. Yeah, no bueno, it's no man's land right now. So, they've got supreme advantage. Uh, anything I develop, I wouldn't have, I mean, they didn't swing with their bond clay, which is interesting to me. And by interesting, I mean, what the fuck? Um, I know you want to hang on to it, but, you know, when I do things like this, then you don't even get to play it. So what's that about? Um, yeah, I think he's the move, dog. I think that's the move because I'm still going to be able to scry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 no, no, no. We blew that one. We screwed the pooch there, dog. I mean, I couldn't attack either way, but I, 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 for a second, I guess I forgot that he was an 8K. No, don't, don't fucking do it. Yes, please, God, no. Son of a bitch, bro. I should have skill checked him. I should have still swung. You always, if you can swing, swing with your leader and it doesn't do anything, always swing with your leader, dog, for sure. Always skill check him. And then we're like, oh, can I take that? No, you can't take that shit back. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I'm learning. You learned. You learn today. Because guess what? When I was playing, I didn't take shit back. If I made a mistake, IRL. If I made a mistake in real life, I fucking ate that shit. And I screamed in the car on the way home. That's how you fucking learn. I'm not here to fucking teach you in semifinals how to fucking play the game. Get the fuck out of here. All right. So what they got? Oh, my gosh, bro. The biggest of big city swings, man. What can we do? We're actually going to keep that alive. We're actually going to keep that alive. Okay, that's crazy. Uh, we cannot keep that alive. We can no longer keep that alive. In my humble opinion, when I did the math, I did not see how we could keep that alive. Okay, so now it's very interesting. Um, and by interesting, I mean I don't think we're going to win. <laughs> right now, I am not feeling confident. But we got some swings okay they got four cards in hand and i say you know what i'm gonna swing into the beard because i just want to get a card out of their hand i got a 2k out of their hand and then i said perhaps i should have swung in the face but no i mean the 2k would have would have served purpose either way so you know you never know you might catch them slipping and they may lose a big card because they don't have the counter. So, I mean, you know, you just got to be able to live with your decision. What are you trying to do? Uh, where I find myself now is they got three big city swings in front of them. Uh, I have some counter, but nothing to write home about. I'm basically skating because I have the white beard. So I can give up the Otama. And then after that, yeah, there's there's very little, if anything, I can do. So um, if he decides to, to swing again big and not develop, we're fucked. And I'm like, yo, wait a minute. Whoa, we're fucked. Okay, like what the hell? Well, he decides to do that and I can easily get out of it right so like that's it it just takes me one and i'm like oh shit yeah because new gate is until the start of your next turn it's not like the black yellow luffy uh i wonder if they knew that as well so anyways now we're like okay i gotta block out of this and i'm able to block out of it and then they're gonna swing 12 we gotta take that okay so they've got four cards in hand they got three life and there is, and I, I, I go to check, and there's just no, no way that we're, we're coming out of this unscathed. So the only thing I can do at this point, uh, you know, freeze frame. Oh, cool, it worked. The only thing I could think to do at this point would be play out that blocker and swing into Luffy with everything that I have. That's what I'm thinking. So because they do have answers for a measly chump blocker. However, those answers may not be available to them now with the last four cards in their hand. And um, they are at a limited dawn next turn. 
Okay, so yeah, I mean, they swung nine. They didn't do their leader ability. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so I see that, and I might as well start placing at the bottom. I ain't got no two Ks there. Uh, yeah, to bikini bottom you go. And now I'm looking at, okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And I think about it like that because that way I can swing 6K over. So they'd have to have two, four, six, and a, it'd take all of their cards. And now I can pelt them swing six, swing six, swing six, swing nine. <clears throat> and they're going to have to be able to answer all of this. And even if they do survive, I got a blocker. You know what I'm saying? So they take, if they take this, they're gone. Okay. So they do block out on that. I swing that and I get, got them. And so now with five Dom, they're going to have to figure their life out. Whatever will they do? They just, they punt and you know, that's a blocker. And then, you know, we swing with Sanji and I guess that claps them up. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. That was a, that was, that was brick city. So when I swung, against that new gate judging by the amount of cards and they're not 8.5 these guys are running nine um that'll show you right there yo i did i did the right thing swinging at him i did get his last 2k out of hand for sure uh so with all that in mind let's go to our next match uh we still at 1.5 oh that was one point back to 1.5 speed super fast turbo commentary okay so they chose to go second we're fucked right uh, we did get uh, Sanji in our hands, so I, you know I'm somewhat happy about that. I'm also really happy about not using my scry ability. That's fucking awesome, you know. Really showing you guys how not to fucking play this deck. That's amazing. I love that kind of shit. I love when I do that. Anyhow, um, so what are we gonna do this time, uh, partner? And we're going first, so we kind of do need those. Um, uh so yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna set it up and we we already have a pudding but we would like to see a pudding right okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh i don't think we swing here and i'm not on shift so leave me alone we're gonna go ahead and pass because you want to starve that luffy out uh these days dog i mean i kind of play luffy the same way you starve him out you develop your board uh, if they should swing at you with a garp or something, great. You just gave me a free swing that does, you know, it'll further my purpose if I'm, uh, I don't know, a, if I was a Luchi or somebody that needs to swing to, to get some value out of it. You know what I mean? Anyhow, uh, they find, uh, Rocket Luffy, which is no bueno para me. Uh, we go ahead and block that because he, he put three Dawn and we just blocked it with a card that costs a two Dawn value we are getting so much value <clears throat> now right here i'm a little surprised to see that i do the ivankov play instead of the uh dofi play um yo no say uh i don't know what the fuck that's about but we take him down to seven and okay cool so next turn i'm definitely looking to play out dofi doferston and uh see about getting that g getting something set up dude getting something set up for that sanji play because you know we're all right so far they haven't taken a taken a life off of us but when i tell you we have got to get our 9ks you know situated and ready we've got to get ready for the late game we absolutely gotta um yes so anyhow they're at six dawn and the world is their oyster I'm wondering if they're going to... Now, for that, I'd give you that 2K. Stay healthy, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I wonder if they're going to rock it down or turbo down. They don't. That's exactly what we want to see. We are going to start placing that on top. So what we're going to get is multiple 2Ks en route to setting up our Sanji play, which is amazing. So we know that... Uh, what am I at? I'm at seven dawn. So the pudding is going to be what I drawn to now if I use my leader's ability. So that's we just need we need to keep Rayleigh in our in our in our nine dawn spot. So if I were to take a card right now, which I guess that's what I'm going to do, 
And I'm going to swing. Okay, so this is what I'm setting up. I'm setting up that pudding play. I'm being a fucking dirtbag. That's what I'm doing. Because they're probably going to take that. I said they're probably going to take. You can't be nervous about that right now. I ain't got no board. I can't, I can't threaten you. Okay, they do. All right. So now I'm going to I'm gonna play pudding because it's literally smoke, it, smoke if you got it. You know what I mean? And they get, okay, so they triggered. So perfect, perfect, perfect. That was amazing. That was a great play right there. Because uh, they revealed and drawed uh, Sabito. I, I think that's the little one. I forget the numbers. Or maybe oh, it was the big one. Oh, it's 04. What the fuck am I smoking? Um, I said I remember the numbers. The fuck? Anyways, so now we got, uh, okay, this is a great sign for us. Because we putting them, right? And now, instead of going into their 9K final form, uh, they're throwing out an ace. So, like, that's great. That's even better for us right there because uh, they're not going to be able to turbo down to the ground. So, uh, give them 2K, stay 3 health. We love it. And uh, if they do swing 8 again, then we're fucked. We're going to have to take that. Outside of that, we got a blocker just staring us in the face. Reveals Port Guiace. I don't know which one that is. Um, gonna block that out, and we go back to that. We already know Swaley's on top of the dick, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we can yeah minus him minus two him. Now we can swing for free with pudding, which was a big deal, because you know I don't think you want to save them. Cool. And then I'm not going to swing at face because then that enables them to, to do their ability. And I swing five there just to, just to skill check and see if they give me a card. Oh, bro, the way I did that, the way the speed and everything, I thought I thought they gave me a card, I'm about to say. Okay, so look, so now you see Luffy and you're like, oh, well, why'd you minus down Luffy if you weren't going to, why don't you give him the, well, Luffy's still minus two and now he's at a total of four. So he's got a usability just to get to six and then swing at who? Because I got a 2K, you know, I'll be healthy. Uh, we're looking pretty good right now, even though the resources are scarce. Uh, and, you know, they got seven. It's the fact that, you know, they can Luffy right now. And then they can do the thing where they put two life back and they only use one of them. Definitely going to, yeah, 2K. And they can, if they can survive... They could be 7K with one life. But with just one blocker, that shit ain't going to work for them. That shit ain't going to work. Womb. So we're going to see what their, what, their, what their game plan is, what their strat is right about meow. And as soon as they're done with the jack, boy, we're going to be ready to swing. Big city swings coming up. Big city swings. Now you know why I got these holes in 1.5. Okay, so Imperial Ivankov comes into play. And uh, they're going to be looking to do those shenanigans. Um, I mean, I think this is, you know, you got an extra blocker. I feel you. I just feel like this is all way too little, way too late. Um, you know, so that's cool. You're able to trash that, put something else on top. This is very unfortunate right here where I'm able to bottom deck your Sabo. Um, and so now we've got the Sanji and we already know what's going to be there on top. We knew it was Swaley, but we're going to do that anyways. Uh, we can minus two down from there and then he's going to bring him out and he's going to minus three, minus two to Ivankov and we're going to be able to pop Luffy. Oh, we popped them because we're going to go for game. That's right. Okay. That make it a sense. So, yeah, you know what? Uh, I actually didn't need to do that. I could have. Oh, when I. Man, I'm a fucking. I'm a dog, boy. I got no love in my heart, man. Jeez. All right. So, yeah. So now we put six on them. They're, they don't even block. This game is over, Jack. O V A. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not going to do anything. Eight. You could block out of that, but you're, you're, you know, oh, oh, oh. And as you can see, gang, oh, they did see their geckos, just everything was fucked. 
that's weird that's weird but anyhow uh with that let's go ahead and uh, take it over to the gist of the list actually i'm gonna see if i can get you one more game with that other list let's see uh let's see how this match plays out i have not played this yet uh, they're going second we're going first so we got this we got to keep it in my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead and keep um and oh well of course we do our ability yes 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 and we're gonna place on deck bottom we're gonna put you on bikini bottom because we don't need you here okay so uh admittedly i was looking for doflamingo which isn't man comment down below how often y'all see him like I, I i see him here and there i'm not gonna be like oh i don't ever see one but bro i don't see him like that it's not like a plethora uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play this out. We're going to set up the rest of our game. We don't like any of that. No, we don't like that at all. Um, no, we're putting that at the bottom, Jack, and I don't care what order. I don't even care anymore. Uh, I can swing here. They're going to block out. They're going to draw a card, so I'll just go ahead and let it rock. Um, so my, my theory and how I play against Nami to... I would say more success than than loss. Uh, I have not lost a Nami game with Black Yellow Luffy. Uh, she does have one, so we do need to respect. We'll go ahead and no blocker and give her no Nami. Uh, anyhow, if they want to keep cards up, cool. Let them keep cards up. Get rid of save your save your getting rid of for what they have. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to think. Okay, so I can put this on top and then do this. Cool. So I'm going to do that. Yes. Perfect. Place on deck top. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. Okay, so now we get to swing a little bit mo. And uh, we're going to go ahead and swing eight at them. See what they do with that. Okay. Holy shit. All right. They're 34. Okay, so anyways, yeah, like I was saying, um, the time to swing at your... That's got to go. The time to swing at your Nami is when they have low Dawn or low hands. Because they could have 10 Dawn, but if they got three cards in hand, they can only do three events. So get to swinging. Go wide and get to swinging. Um confound it i don't want to give them a free attack but i don't have anything that i want to get rid of i'll go ahead and let them have that one yeah we didn't want that card there anyways okay cool um now i am in a place where we can do seven we can get rid of this card so we'll go ahead and play that out we'll use that yes sir turn that sideways we're gonna do that place on bikini bottom we'll place i don't know how i feel about putting one of these at the bottom we'll go ahead and put you on bikini bottom and then yeah and then we're gonna go ahead and swing oh wait 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 we'll attach one uh actually they got four they got five up that's not the turn to swing plus we want their hand to get fat daddy because uh, we're about to putting them and then be putting them in a predicament. <laughs> you saw what I did there? Okay. Um, <clears throat> no blocker. We're not tripping at all. We'll go ahead and give you. We'll give you Otiyama. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of it. Okay. So they got another seven. A. Um, I'm thinking about playing this out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm going to turn him sideways and get rid of that card so they can't bring that back. I'm going to do this here. We are going to do this here. And this is going to help us later. So we'll go ahead and put on Bikini Bottom. We'll put this one. We don't need three. Uh, there's no characters. So now I'm going to do... I could swing nine see what i get from them swinging nine is where you want to be against this deck because when we swing nine then they have to come out with multiple cards that's a perfect swing for them if you will 
So he just spent one. He's going to look at the top three cards of the deck. And also, gang, you want to make sure that you are keeping track of every... My man is going all the way down. Yo. So for that, I will swing another eight at him. Get more cards out of their hand. And uh, that's fine with us. They put the cards right back. Fuck me in my efforts. Fuck me right in my efforts. <coughs> so next turn, uh, we are looking to swing nine, nine, nine. <clears throat> really get it going. Uh, also, I do need to be swinging with this card. But the thing is, is that when I swing with this card, they can still use their stuff. So, okay. So they're already back to six cards in hand. I'm going to go ahead and give them... I'll give him the blocker. The blocker isn't going to do nothing. I don't feel like... I don't feel... I'm about to start playing over cards anyways, right? Okay, so... Um, let's go ahead and... They haven't done much searching. Wait. Oh, I thought those were Kaya's. I was about to say, yo, we're about to be big city hooping. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Hmm... I think this is the turn to swing. So I'm going to go ahead and do nine, nine, and then one, two, three, four, nine, and then one, two, three, four, nine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do nine. Pudding just may not be the, oh. Yes. Pudding will be the play. So what that did is reshuffled anything they were planning, kind of threw it off. And now I took them from seven to five, which may not sound like a lot, but it's seven to five and they still have two attacks that they're going to have to deal with. And depending on how much they get rid of here, I might just stretch it and do a couple more. You know what I'm saying? Because they are going to draw us a card. Okay, so they got one more uh, Dawn, so we're definitely going to swing twice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give a rested Dawn to our Weeder. And let's see what's up with that. Oh, we're definitely keeping that. We will place... Uh, we'll place we'll place you on Bikini Bottom. I don't... Well, no, let's put you on Bikini Bottom. And uh, no characters. And so now I'm going to go ahead and swing six and then eight. Oh, I could have put you on top, but that would be pointless. So six is just to have you waste a whole event on that and bait that out as well. So that's cool. And now we're going to attach all Dawn, really all Dawn. And we're going to swing there. We get the draw card and we get him to take another life. And they are at 25. We've got some swing of dings coming their way. Um, uh, the first Kaya has entered the building. If they play another Kaya, that would be okay as well because I will gravity raging blade them to oblivion. Oh, well, actually, I don't even need to. I can turn uh, Newgate sideways. So this is interesting. Um, this is always a tough match. Uh, Nami has gotten quite consistent over the last... Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Let's see. So, depending on how much they leave up, they actually got rid of a snake dance, which is what you would use to bring Kaya back into your hand. Um, interesting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... I will... I'll let them go. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about any of it. So if we spend seven this turn, we get rid of, we bottom deck them, but then we put them in their bottom deck and that actually helps them out. So we don't want to use this card. No, sir. So we're actually going to go ahead and do this and this because we want them out of the game. They don't, they don't pull cards from the trash. That's not their MO. Okay. So now I am going to, yes, place on deck top, place you. And then no enemy to choose. And then now we are setting up for the end game. End of the game. Um, I can swing eight. I can swing eight. They only have four. Uh, 
the two of their Kayas are in the trash now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to be crazy. Snake dance for nothing. Uh, and, and that didn't do anything outside of just a snake dance. So we like that. Okay, so we pass it back. So what that did was just got rid of a card. Okay, so they got another Kaya. Mo Kayas. They keep getting rid of Snake Dance. Um, blows my mind. One, two, three, four. So we don't even need to worry about Kaya going back to hand anymore. Um, and I wonder what is in these cards here that makes them want to do that. And I wonder. And we're going to go ahead and do that because we're not taking no damage, dog. Okay, um, I can actually do this and then get rid of that. And yes, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play here, replace that, bop, and no, and bop, and then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get, I'm going to swing nine. And see, this is what I'm talking about, guys. He's got three cards in hand. He's got a lot of Dawn up, but he's only got three cards in hand. So that's why we're doing, now we're, now we're swinging. I don't care how many cards he has or Dawn up because he's only got that many cards in hand. So this is the time to really go for it. And then next turn, this should be it. Okay, so he's getting close. He he still has to spin. And so I was going to say, yeah, and he concedes uh, because they had nothing left in hand. Um, this was uh, the only thing I would have said that I don't I wouldn't know why they were doing was just this uh, getting rid of snake dance with Kaya, but um, there you have it. Um, <laughs> at least an eight point five cone teach. I didn't really get to play teach out for you guys, but uh, that's the whole reason I threw them in there. Uh, I'll talk about that in the gist of the list, but uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, the whole point. Uh, we'll take it over the gist of the list. All right, gang. So, uh, you know, I was trying to find like uh, the Dovester himself or somebody, you know, Mr. 8.5. But uh, what I was just trying to show off was uh, Marshall D. Teach. And in this uh, list, this is the second list I was telling you guys about. <laughs> the whole point is if you can get him out there, right? Uh, what he will do for you is allow you to place one card once per turn at the top of your deck, okay? So you can do that. Then attach up to two Rested Dawn to one of your characters or leaders. Now, the thing is, is that because you do the first part first, if there is no attached, if there is no two Dawn Rested, that's okay. And what you get to do is, let's say you have your Sanji in hand and you have your new gate or your, you know, you have, you have whoever you want, right? Cool. You can use his ability at on 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 your nine dawn turn. Put one of these onto the top, and then play Sanji, and then still get to play him on curb and and ahead. Of, you know what I'm saying? Uh, faster than you would have with no planning. So of course the trick is keeping him alive. Um, obviously you're not swinging with him, and you are going to require your opponent to pop them. You know what I mean? To spend resources to get rid of him, which is dope because any resources they're spending for him is resources they cannot spend to get rid of any of your other bigs. So that was just the uh, ah, that was just the idea behind that. But outside of that, uh, I think Marco is going to be doing doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Uh, there's more testing that I want to do. Uh, like I said, I gave y'all a, a good couple of lists, but I still feel like there's a little more I want to do with him to figure this out. Uh, but I definitely believe he's a contender and definitely believe he's one of the decks that, you know, should they see their right matchups, they can skate all the way through a regional. Absolutely. I, I would not be surprised. So, uh, very excited for Marco in 8.5. He was the deck that I had to play with Uno Mas Tiempo before I get into a tier list, which I will be doing tomorrow. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyhow, anyways, gang, it's been Murata Music with 3 Piece TCG. Big, big TCG. And I will see you guys in the next one. Smash that like button. Finger pop that subscribe. Turn on the bell. And let me know in the comments, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What would you be doing differently? I'm very interested in this, this, list, this list in particular. I didn't get to test it out too much. But, yeah, him and to him. Him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what do y'all think about these ratios? 
Uh, I'm thinking if I have this much going on, I may not need four. I could probably go down to three, but that is a card you want to see on curb. So when you want to see a card on curb, you want to go at four. Anyways, I'm going to be talking too much. See you guys next one. Flows like a Peace. faucet, sweat dripping like a faucet. Dooney fixing, got Luffy ambition. King of the rappers, the mission. I see they got the lights, camera, but no action. They actually fiction.